Today we celebrate Ascension Day. Forty days after he was raised from the dead, Jesus took his leave of his disciples. It was a dramatic and traumatic day for them, even though Jesus had prepared them for it. Wait in Jerusalem for the, for the gift the Father has promised, the Holy Spirit, to be poured out at Pentecost, through whom you will receive power to become Jesus' witnesses. When he had gone, they returned to an upper room and began to pray. And they kept praying. Constantly is the word that's used in Acts chapter 1. The founding mark of the church was prayer first. My name is John Hibbard and I take a lead on the renewed part of the diocesan strategy, which actually could be summarised in those words, prayer first, that our whole strategy might be rooted in prayer. So while we do not neglect our efforts or our activism, our planning and strategising, we base it all on prayer. And part of this is to build a virtual prayer community. And that idea came up long before there was even the vaguest notions of this lockdown. A virtual community of 2025 who would each day um, pray the Lord's Prayer, pray the Vision Prayer, read at least one verse of scripture and pray for our worshipping community to double to two and a half percent of the population. Now that's not a big ask in many ways, is it? So you'd think it will be a no-brainer, right? Surely every ordained minister, every authorised lay minister, every congregation member will want to sign up. Well, that's not quite the case yet. It's not bad. We have about 800 people signed up and that has grown significantly during the period of lockdown. But we've still got a long way to go to get to 2,025 people. Similarly, you'd think that every church, that every Christian would make prayer their number one priority in their own life, right? I mean, there is the privilege of coming into God's presence. Or there's that old adage, when we work, we work. When we pray, God works. I don't know about you, but in some ways I'm most disappointed in myself as a disciple in the ways in which I have failed to translate this belief into consistent practice. All too often, the urge to do something wins out. Should I pray or have a meeting? Should I pray or write something? And you see it in church life too as well, don't you? The prayer meeting is an endangered species in the UK. I catch myself sometimes saying I'm too busy to pray. Now that, that, that can't be right, but it happens sometimes. As a young Christian, I remember reading the book Mountain Rain by Eileen Crossman. It is about God's work, and you'll see why I emphasise this, amongst the Lisu people through the missionary James Fraser. At one level, it's a typical missionary biography. Committed, sacrificial, brave, very active, an inspiring individual. But within the book, James's own writing gives all the glory to God because he speaks consistently about the foundation of prayer. And particularly the letters that he wrote to prayer partners back in the UK, detailed about the work he was undertaking. And significantly for us, there was one season when heavy rains prevented a particular mission trip. Initially, he was hugely frustrated, but then he set to using the time to pray. Like a person in lockdown. And he later reflected that God did so much more through his prayers than that visit could ever have achieved. 
It's a salutary lesson to activists like me, but it also inspires me to build this prayer community. Do you believe that prayer makes a vital difference? I know in one sense it's a mystery as to how this happens, but surely it is the consistent testimony of the stories through the Bible and through the history of the church that prayer changes things. So I would ask you, if you're not already a member, would you join us as part of the 2025 prayer community? If you are a member, then invite others. But having joined, don't just let it be a subscription, a tick on a list. Will you then also knuckle down, as it were, to consistently pray each day that God might work with his power through his spirit in all that we do? This week, there'll be lots of opportunities to join in prayer through Thy Kingdom Come, and I hope you'll be able to join us. Thank you.